Welcome back agents, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we are breaking down an S tier PvP build that competes with the current meta and can go toe to toe with pretty much any build in the game. This build has the capabilities to withstand tons of damage up close to help you be the last player standing. Let's first discuss how this build is meant to be played. The main specialization on this build is Demolitionist, which may shock some of you since Firewall and Survivalist have remained the most dominant specializations for PvP for quite some time now. However, as we break down every aspect of this build, you'll soon realize just how amazing Demolitionist fits for this current setup. Demolitionist offers a very special ability called Crisis Response. Now, for those of you that don't know, this ability refills your main weapons magazine when your armor gets depleted. The best chess piece talent to use with Crisis Response is Unbreakable, which is exactly what we have on this build. When your armor is depleted, Unbreakable will immediately repair 50% of your armor every 60 seconds. Now, when you time this correctly, you will be extremely difficult to take down up close. Your aggression is what makes this build shine. With over 100 bullets at your disposal up close, not even meta builds can stand a chance. If you think that sounds interesting, you can make this build even stronger. The best exotic gear piece to use on this build is the exotic Catharsis Mask. This exotic mask has a talent called Vicious Cycle. Taking damage builds stacks to to a cap of 30. Each stack grants 1% weapon damage. Taking damage at max stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects, and then dropping a healing cloud which restores 5% of max armor for 10 seconds to all allies in the cloud. Now, if you remember what I said, aggression is key with this build. When you are firing your weapon up close, you're stacking even more damage as enemy players shoot you. As you build these damage stacks, Crisis Response will refill your magazine. This means consistent DPS, giving you a huge advantage in close quarters fights. To further increase the power of this build, I am using Companion as my backpack talent. Now, I have to say, this is the most underrated backpack talent for PvP. Companion increases your weapon damage by 15% when you are within 5 meters of an ally or skill. I love this talent because it promotes team play. The closer you stick to your teammates, the more damage you will deal. In situations where you need to break away from your teammates, the best skills to use on this build is the Defender Drone and one of my personal favorites, the Explosive Seeker Mine. The higher you increase your Defender Drone expertise, the more damage you can withstand. The Explosive Seeker Mine, though, is amazing for two two reasons. The first one is the skill duration. When you activate the Seeker Mine, it will stay on your hip for a very long time. This is the easiest and most consistent way to keep Companion activated. The second reason is the overall effectiveness of this skill. I use this Seeker Mine to flush players out of rooms, interrupt players that try to pop kits, and also finish off any players that are down, preventing their teammates from reviving their fallen ally. The Seeker Mine also causes bleed, which is great for any players trying to strafe away and pop kits. And lastly, one of the best weapons to use on this build is the FAMAS. Easily one of the strongest weapons for PvP and with the right talent you will feel unstoppable. For my FAMAS, I'm actually using Measured, which works extremely well with the talents and abilities on this build. The top half of the magazine increases your rate of fire by 20% at the cost of 30% weapon damage. The second half increases your weapon damage by 30% at the cost of 20% rate of fire. The initial RPM will shred through armor, and the damage buff on the second half of the magazine will eliminate enemy players. This is one of the best builds to use in the Dark Zone right now. It offers a perfect balance of survivability and DPS, and is a nice change of pace compared to the typical firewall meta build setup. The main specialization on this build is Demolitionist. This specialization tree gives us access to some really great talents, the first one being Demolitionist Tactical Link, which gives our group members an extra 5% damage to targets out of cover. And one of the best talents in this tree, obviously we already spoke about this here, Crisis Response. When armor is reduced to zero, it refills your current weapons magazine. One of the best weapons to use on this build is the FAMAS. You can see here 92.8k total damage 
900 RPM, 50 rounds in the magazine, expertise level 15, giving me an additional 15% weapon damage. I have max assault rifle damage, max health damage, and 10% damage to targets out of cover. And for the talent here, you can see measured. The top half of the magazine has 20% rate of fire and minus 30% weapon damage. The bottom half of the magazine has negative 20% rate of fire and 30% total weapon damage. Since I like to swap weapons, I'm running double FAMAS on this build. This one is also expertise level 15. And for the talent, I'm actually using Optimist. Weapon damage is increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. For the first gear piece here, you can see the Catharsis Exotic Mask, literally one of the best in slot exotics, especially for PvP. You can see max armor, 20% incoming repairs, max armor regen, and a max crit hit damage mod. This exotic mask has a unique talent called Vicious Cycle. Taking damage builds stacks to a cap of 30. Each stack grants 1% weapon damage. Taking damage at max stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects, and then dropping a healing cloud, which restores 5% of max armor for 10 seconds to all allies in the cloud. For the chest piece, I have Fenris Group AB, which gives me an additional 10% assault rifle damage. I have max armor, expertise level 13, which gives us 13% armor, 6% crit hit chance, max crit damage, a max crit hit damage mod, and unbreakable as the talent. When your armor is depleted, repair 50% of your armor, cooldown 60 seconds. The best holster to use on this build is the Picaro's holster. If you look very closely, you can see max armor and at the very bottom 15% weapon damage. This holster essentially rolls with both a blue core and a red core, stacking your weapon damage and survivability at the same time. Next, we have a Grupo Sombra backpack, which gives us an extra 15% crit hit damage on the build. We have max weapon damage, 12% armor thanks to expertise, max crit hit damage, max crit chance, a max crit hit damage mod, and companion. When you are within 5 meters of an ally or skill, total weapon damage is increased by 15%. Next, we have Cheska gloves, which give us 10% crit hit chance, I have max armor, expertise level 12, 4.6% crit hit chance, and max crit hit damage. For the last gear piece here, I have Fox's Prayer knee pads, max weapon damage, 12% armor, 8% damage to targets out of cover, and max 12% crit hit damage. The best skills to use, especially to keep companion activated at all times, is definitely the Explosive Seeker Mine and the Defender Drone. These pair very nicely together. Keep in mind the Explosive Seeker Mine is great for staggering players, interrupting them when they're trying to pop kits, stuff like that. It's also great for finishing players that are already down. And obviously the Defender Drone increases survivability without any skill tiers on the build. You can see at Expertise 14, I have 12% PvP damage reduction. Collectively on the build, I have 1.6 million armor. Now, if you find yourself in situations where you're dying too fast, feel free to add an extra blue on this build, increasing your armor to 1.8 million. I have 53.6% crit hit chance and 156 crit hit damage. 70% all weapons damage bonus and 40% assault rifle damage bonus. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you want to see more Division 2 builds, videos just like this one coming very soon, I highly recommend subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you as a part of the family. If you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. If you don't want to miss any future uploads, turn on those bell notifications so you are notified every time I drop a new video.